It's too wide for it'd drinking be, water. It'd be a good travel pressure, that. It would. You know, you could. Oh, that. you've had the loot during that no bar. <laughs> I'd loot there, we go in twice. Slab. People be just slobbering. Viscerally fucking talking on the people in there. Viscerally? Aye. Do you know what that means? Like, like in a very vicious fashion. <laughs> No, you got one in the wall. Now you got me a present. Open it up, <laughs> sure. It's your birthday. Man, thank you very much. It's very kind, no you know. Bother. I got you nothing. 29 laps around the sun. No. <laughs> you just know that everybody that was on that aircraft that finally landed in Barcelona and were on the phone to their families being like, well, did you have a good flight? You're like, this dude fucking shit himself. Yeah. They had to turn the goddamn plane around. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, episode 26, recorded a mere matter of hours after episode 25, Fitness Podcasts. Aaron has nine liters of water. The main games have started already. Oh, is this a, is this a fucking, you trying to nag me or something? No, no, no. Which Just letting it? you see what's going on. You want to play the apple and pear? You yeah. Want, you want, <laughs> taste Fuck's it. Sake. It's pure yeah. water. No. Man's on the fucking zippy cups. Fuck's sake. I all, came into the car. All today. we're projecting now. <laughs> You're eating your breakfast out of a fucking, you know. Hey, I was just fortified Nola, my friend. Fortified Nola. <laughs> I got into the car then and I seen the cogs turning this guy's head. He goes, oh, fuck, here he is. Master Fitness. Yeah, he's got the big water on. <laughs> Call me Dwayne the Rock Johnson because I brought a bottle of water. Yeah, and you're like, man, one liter isn't enough. It's just not. I need two liters. I'm like a hamster on a wheel, bro. Just keep on turning, <laughs> sucking. <laughs> Getting that wee thing in your mouth. I have returned to my original gym today, the ledger center, with the sauna and steam, badly missed. I said to him this morning, what'd you do at the gym? And he goes, chest, steam room, <laughs> jacuzzi. <laughs> yeah, it was lovely. It's it's great that you miss the conversations you have with, you know, if you think small talk with the girl serving you at Santa is bliss, the shit you get into with the boys in the sauna, they love it. I do remember that one time we went and there was a boy sitting in there and you, you were like, oh, he, he actually goes, oh, did you see the match at the weekend? And I'm like this here in the fucking team. I think it was a match I actually did watch. It was a big match. Can't mind. But he was just making up teams. Did you see the old hoops and the greens and the, against the reds? Are the greens a decent side this year? Uh, they do, yeah. But then you know what the hoops are like? <laughs> Do you the other guy in the in the steam room was like a fucking mess too. Oh, wow. And uh, he had a can of monster in the sauna. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> like, that's a lot. You know, like fucking probably warm. I don't need, know. need the energy lad to get through the fucking You take the water in the sauna and it tastes disgusting. So you're taking a like, ton of monster in you, it's just dirt like yeah, these boys can't be stopped. Mexican Dave fucking you take a monster in uh, in anywhere. In you the... love a monster, don't you, Mexican Dave? Have you ever had a monster beside your bed? Nah. No? No? I don't know. Just to, that, that's usually the you know it's like vaping in bed, you know, it's like that's when you know you've crossed the line. I can get down with that. I like rolling over and just <laughs> taking a big old toke to start the day. I'm basically Goggins. <laughs> Roll over, hit the keyway, <laughs> have my Nola, <laughs> go to the steam room, chat shade, pull one off all on your side, <laughs> just slithering about like a snake. I do bit on my side as well, yeah. I'm sure. I'd say I'll just like, I'll lean over and then fucking. If you have the coordination of wang on your side, I'm sure you can, uh, you can do most things on your side. Oh, yeah. Nice. My mother is uh, positively nagging me too for this whole experience. Yeah, uh, she she actually f- hit me with a compliment, which I wasn't expecting. But then it was immediately followed in classic Irish law fashion with backhand. You know, she What'd was she just say? like, "Ah, oh, you're looking trim now, but sure you'll probably end up giving it up anyway." No, it's like <laughs> she's good. she's got the mind games like, going. Did, did Colin call you? Tell you to say <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> I mean that's that's the tough love. No, I mean we've talked about this before. Nothing gets you going better than spite. Oh yeah. Absolutely. You know, oh, you're looking trim, but you're, we know what you're like. Yeah. Zero willpower, give up on everything, you yeah. waste the space. Yeah. Oh, you're, fuck. You've been the middle, oh. the middle of the night on an exercise. I'll have this water down, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I love when it, chest is the ultimate, I'm going to do nothing in the gym today, isn't it? No, if you're doing it right. For, uh, <laughs> no, if you're doing it right. I know, but like, fell, you know, like if you look at like CrossFit, Aye. which, you know, people have their, their mixed opinions on, no one does a bench press because they're like, what are you going to do? Are you going to be really fit and just go like this? You know, it's like... That hole's too wide. That's it, aye. Yeah. 
for what? The evening. It's too wide for it'd drinking be, water. It'd be a good travel picture, that. It would. You know, you could oh, talk. you fit the looter in that, no boy. <laughs> I'd loot there, we go in twice. There was a fella, I <laughs> I got the, the late bus on Friday after a gig in West Belfast. Shout out to West Belfast. Fucking, I tell you. It's, shout uh, out to West Belfast shout in out general. To West Belfast in general. Just, uh, it was opposite, the venue itself was opposite Leisure Center, like mm. slides and all, but it was mm. still on like a main road. I'm not sure whereabouts it was. But, um. Andy Town. Andy Here time. we go. I give them Andy the chuckles time. in Andy Town. And it was fucking great. Like, it's so, so nice. And the gig itself, like, uh, Butler went on at the start. There's a lot of heckling. Mm. And, but it was coming from two old boys. Oh. And uh, I go to Butler. I was like, who were the two old boys that were heckling? And he goes, oh, you'll know as soon as you see them. <laughs> and I went on stage. The ones in the balaclavas? It, it was the most random. No, no, not a balaclava. A balaclava? A fedora. Oh. <laughs> the guy was wearing, like, he looked like a character in an RPG game that would give you like a side quest and then his mate sitting beside him nice. this guy had a fedora right like a wee vest jacket and then trousers like and then his mate sitting beside him just had grey trackies and a Celtic jersey on Yeah. and I was like how is the friendship formed here and then just started chatting to them for a bit gig was nice and then afterwards got the late bus home and there was a fella that I hadn't seen Noel that I knew from secondary school and he was asking the driver to stop the bus this actually could be a decent amount of the asshole he was asking the driver to stop the bus and he was like, I'll get out and I'll just piss real quick. And the driver was like, no, nope, no, you, won't, you will fucking not. This is Translink. <laughs> this is, we don't, we don't play that shit at Translink. We, we don't piss around here. So then every stop obviously is like, I'm literally going to piss myself. Like he's like, is it better that I just piss in the bus? And the driver goes, you work away and piss in the bus, big son. 50 pound fine. Oh, 50 pound? I'd add the cock in my <laughs> What are we talking for a shite? <laughs> I'd round Sh- it off to 100 if you let me Shed's curl. double plus fat, I'd say, at least. If you let me curl one out behind this seat here. Uh, you, but you never get in a position where you have to shed. Uh, how baller would it be, though, if you were... Uh, you go ahead and pitch, big lad, it'd be 50 quid, and you just threw it in his face. <laughs> All up against the wee glass window. <laughs> you said it. You but said it, big boy. The night bus is insane. Uh, 100%. Like, the 10 o'clock bus, that 273, 10 o'clock. There used to be a late bus in Belfast where... Uh, it would do almost, you know, like say the area of Newton Abbey would have, you know, 10 buses during the day. Mm-hmm. There was one late at night that would do, just do the ho- laps of everywhere. Yeah. It would do the whole fucking, you know, the whole area. Yeah. And it was fucking chaos too, like. What are, what are we talking here? Like, you know, old dolls singing and. Nah, no, just fucking lunatics. You yeah. know, single sad guys that have been drinking who were like 45. Mm-hmm. Just, looking at just the bus. looking up and, you know, going like, you fucking me. And yeah, put your head back down. Yeah, yeah. People singing a lot of fucking near fucking in the bus. No, a lot of near fights breaking out and stuff uh, like that. There, you know. Yeah, uh, interesting uh, arena for a clash, a bus nightmare, you know? a terrible destination. Do you ever, fight. do you ever think in your head, you know, when you see these t- terrible things in the news, like, oh, this person, you know, pulled out a knife on a flight, or this person tried to hijack a plane, and you, you always think in your head, I'll be over them seats like a fucking. I'd be fucking beating the fuck out of him. And then it's like, you're, Never a, you're actually on a flight and you're trying to get your seatbelt off to have a pish. Yeah. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> excuse me. You know what I mean? Like you never did. Yeah. Or you've sat in one of your balls and you're trying to get it yeah. fucking untucked without looking like a pervert. Yeah. You, know? you get up and your leg's dead. You got like pins and needles in your leg. And oh, you're yeah. like, My like, feet be swelling up in planes like fucking elephant, man. Really? Like an owl dog? Yeah. Did you get them thrombosis? I don't know. Menopause or something? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> you need to get, uh, get those compression socks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure I saw seen Sam Talent on stage with those. What are they? Something to do with circulation around your legs. Yeah. Yeah. Some fat fatness related disease. Let me tell you something. There's two types of people wearing them. Professional athlete and recovery. Fat As with any workout gear in general. True. You know? Some of the best workout gear you'll see will be in on, on an obese person. Oh yeah. You know? I used to have a bit about that, you remember? Yeah. Girl yeah. head to toe in Gymshark. Oh yeah. I've well, seen a few. Like going across it? She's like, no. Going to eat buns with my friend Sandra. Yeah. <laughs> Head the to toe under armor like he's doing a tough mutter. Yeah, <laughs> women do love, women love gossiping in their workout gear. Yeah. They love putting on a wee under armor hoodie and just slabbering about whoever they want to school with. Yeah, fold your arms really up high. Like a, like yeah. Fucking sorry to God. Some of the overheards I've heard in Cafe Nero in particular, Slab- people be just slabbering, viscerally fucking talking to people in there. Viscerally? Aye. Do you know what that means? Like, like in a very vicious fashion. <laughs> <laughs> no, vicious means vicious. Swing and a miss. 
Now you got one in the wall. Now you got me a present. Open it right up. up. Sure. <laughs> it's your birthday. Man, thank you very much. It's very kind, no you know. Mother. I got you nothing. 29 laps around the sun. No. <laughs> and I look fluffy. Hey. <laughs> You should do 29 laps in the middle of this defab. Should be a fat bastard? <laughs> defab bastard. What's this? Triple XL t-shirt? Double. Double. Oh, it's my colour anyway. Canary. Oh, orange soda. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get someone to print his face on the t-shirt? I lost him. <laughs> I'll get my tinsel. This isn't made of hair. <laughs> <laughs> shout, out to <laughs> shout out to China. There he is. Custard. Is that the name? Is that the color of that? <laughs> it's actually not bad. It's actually not bad. Oh Jesus! Nah, that's very thoughtful. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's like bullying, and they're like, "That's very thoughtful." <laughs> That's 10 out of 10 now. Oh, I'm going to wear this on stage. Right? It's like legit not bad. <laughs> yeah. is, I don't know whether that's a good sign or a bad sign. I thought it was pretty cool. We put on the joke t-shirt and it suits you. <laughs> I'm doing Queens now. I'm going to wear this. No reference I don't at say all. It. No, I don't say it. <laughs> I'm not going to say shit about it. I'm just going to walk on with it. Yeah. And then rip it in half like Hulk Hogan at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the same. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's like Scooby Doo to take a mask off and the same mask. <laughs> yeah, you could cut your tits out of that t shirt and nobody would know. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> Who's Billy Burn? It's two wee friends. <laughs> two per- t- two Percy Pigs on the side. <laughs> oh, that's phenomenal. <sighs> now, Percy Pig would be like my tango, you know. That's what I've got about a song. <laughs> yeah. Tropicana. Yeah. What do you call that, bro? <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic, man. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, I have to reset after that one. Oh, God. Costume change and everything? Take two. Jesus what Christ. is this fucking... A theatre play? A theatre play? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a bit of your stand-up always pissed me off. What's that? And you would say Macbeth play? Aye. Macbeth has a play. Aye. Like a Shakespeare, Shakespeare play? No, well, I don't know if I said I got every single time. What did I say? What does this I do say? What does this big bath play? <laughs> Good to know you're listening. Oh man, visceral. But I don't <laughs> <laughs> you're so visceral. <laughs> I'm not even. I go ahead. <laughs> Save us both. Pull us both out of the trenches here. What does visceral mean? <laughs> well, we both have visceral fat, according to that start from last week. I made uh, ten of it to shift. 18 somethings percent, uh, percent units 18 v's it's given the same thing what does it mean to act visceral guys get yourselves over to the patreon for this podcast it's over at patreon.com forward slash the bomb squad pod we got 26 episodes in there we got yeah. the live podcast coming this week this week waterfront waterfront hall what a night it was you the, know this thursday oh, so sexy. bomb squad live at the waterfront Get on over there and join the rest of the hooers on there. It's a lovely wee community of bastards, and uh, it's a nice time. Yeah, and uh, please do, because the money we spent on the intro alone, yeah, bankruptcy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's it's 100% worth it. Get on over there. Uh, the boys are on there. Work behind you. Yeah. Oh, we really were. Oh, we were. Shandy out of it. Shandy out of it. <laughs> you faded off the shandy. Shandy town. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Do I pog up? Good luck. Stay to non-intellectual, instinctive, unreasoning, dealing with crude or elemental emotions. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I need to stop. I need to stop like listening to podcasts and then hearing someone use a word, and then thinking, "Oh, I know exactly what that means," and then just throwing it out in a sentence. It never works out. Yeah. What did you say in the shop to that woman when we were leaving the other day? Anyway, good. Oh, good. good see you later or something. Nice night, or no? Have a have a good nice day. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, have a good nice day. <laughs> Man, if you were wearing a fucking t-shirt at the time, <laughs> oh, they probably get me free sweeties. <laughs> <laughs> That's like what's in this wee box? When I'm out with Eddie and he's a good boy, you know. 
<laughs> and they go, you take that for yourself there, love wee biscuit. I get like sweeties in the vape shop. Oh. We have a sweeties box. Arrested. You know, just one. <laughs> Is that when they come in with an ID and they're, they're not old enough to buy a, a vape and you're like, I can't serve you. No. Take a wee sweet, dear son. Not today, Junior, but you can have a wee bag of uh, mix and matchems, you know. Is that like a wee mix up you get? Oh, yeah. We go to Iceland, we get the party bags out. Kids pop off. They love it. As if the colourful vapes weren't enough to lure these children into the fucking vape shop. No, well, these are children that are with the... It's never just a child going into the vape shop and then getting refused and being like, well, here's a sweetie because you tried. Uh, They're always with their parents who are just like dry even over the counter. And then we're like, here, you want to... While well, your mommy's getting her wee sweeties, you know? It would probably be sketchy enough even just to... Can you vape in the shop like all vape shops? Oh, yeah. Are people just firing about vaping? Yeah. Mm-hmm. People, you know what I mean? It's nice. It's a nice work environment. It's colourful. You can vape away. There's a shitter upstairs. Amazing. Microwave, air fryer. Man. What more would you want? That is so visceral. We can okay. have a sauna or something? Yeah. It is like a sauna. Uh, do we, what, are our, what are this week's stats now? We are recording this podcast very close to our last one. Yes. Aren't we? Now, according to the scales... Yes. I'm exactly the same weight with tracksuit bottoms and a t-shirt on. Yes. As I was the other day. Yes. But I do have, you know, about five eggs in me right now. Sorry? I had I had breakfast and drank lo- oh, a load okay. of water and had two fucking Americanos. I thought you meant like freezing your eggs or something? No, 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 no. That's impossible. <laughs> um, so, uh, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> But this morning, when I, when I weighed yeah, myself, I first thing, I was three pounds lighter than I was the other day. Yeah. Because I've had a conservative weekend, even though I was out for dinner. But you know what I mean? You make smart choices. Yeah. And the smart choice was not to eat anything else. <laughs> you have a conservative weekend? Yeah. What, did you go to an abortion rally? Or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> Went to an abortion rally, said the N-word. No, I was down at the border, giving out jib. <laughs> uh, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm absolutely wrecked after all that border jip I was up to the <laughs> weekend. <laughs> a border clatter. <laughs> but uh, no, I, just, I had very clean Saturday and I knew I had to go out for dinner for the dad's retirement there on, on Sunday. Nice. And I fucking just, just you know, intermittent fasted it. Didn't eat anything. And then went out and the first thing I had, wait, wait to hear this. They all, I'll talk you through it. They had uh, my sister, my, by the way, my sister worked in the, uh, you know, hospitality for a long time. You know, at quite a high end. You think she'd never been in public? Yeah. You take her out and she goes, see the way that says um, chocolate brownie. What is? What do you really mean by that? <laughs> the woman's like, it's supposed to like a chocolate brownie. And then ice cream. Yeah. And <laughs> Does she have this kind of intense stare? I was, I couldn't even help it. I was, you know, like Patrice O'Neill, he, he does that Kevin Hart bit. And yeah. he just, he points at him. <laughs> like, I was doing that to my sister. I was going, what the fuck is she doing right now? Like, she ordered some... Uh, I'll, I'll talk you through the dinner, right? She, yes. For starters, she ordered hummus, right? Right. Which... Rogue. Three types of hummus. One of them was a cashew hummus. It was like more like... A, it was like half a peanut butter, half a thing. No, you've got me back in. I tasted it, you know? But they served it on... And this... I wasn't expecting this to be the best bit. They had like charred lettuce leaves. Dirty. So they put the lettuce leaves on the fucking like charcoal grill or whatever. Mm. So they tasted smoky. So, you, you know, there's a couple of wee chipping dips to put in but then you put the hummus on the lettuce and ate that and it tasted like a barbecue it was fucking bang smoky lettuce yeah and the temptations yeah <laughs> my name is smoky lettuce <laughs> that could be my fucking alter ego smoky. i'm smoky lettuce <laughs> i don't vape my lungs to pieces <laughs> you ever had you heard a normal lettuce but you ain't had no smoky lettuce <laughs> it's great that's sounds- I, I got a lamb kofta Right. That was just a, it, was, it looked like a dog turd on a stick. Nice. And that was great. <laughs> nice. Nice. And then, <laughs> and then I thought, like, you know, everyone go like six out of the seven people got beef. And I was like, I'm going to get a monkfish. They brought out a curried monkfish. Oh, why? Wow. That's not a wheat. No, it was. Everyone sort of laughed at me. This is high end. People, it was a very nice restaurant. People were like making fun of me, going, like, look at him ordering the stupid thing again. They all the big slices of roast beef and. Aye. Big Yorkshire pudding about that size. Yeah. And I was like, no, nah, I've just got my bit of fish here and my little side of Let him talk. monkfish cheeks or whatever. Yeah. Uh, which were rolled in some sort of wild rice and deep fried. And the wild rice, it looked like maggots, but it tasted fucking unbelievable. 
Which is so funny that your like your relatives make fun of you for getting fancy stuff if you get like fucking curried monkfish. Yeah. And mine's making fun of me for getting pizza. Yeah. You know. Italian fucking toast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but try fucking and then the desserts. I did get a dessert. Because it was a pack, you know, it was three courses. You picked three courses. Holy trim, they? Yeah, had they? Again, my sister, fucking whole way through the thing. What? What's the, see what it's a dancing trifle? What's the dancing? And the wee girl's like, I don't know, fucking berry or something? She's like, mm. <laughs> I don't like that. Your you know? sister sounds like a nightmare. She is. She's from worse than Mexican Dave. She eats fucking three things, you know? <laughs> I buy pork chops all the time. I never eat them. Oh, the worst meat, too. Pork chops? People don't know how to cook it right. No so tanks. It, it's, it's like anything. People are stupid. <laughs> she kept doing the whole thing. She's like, what is that there? Like a flange? What do you, what do you mean by flange? <laughs> anyway, they all ordered like a damson trifle or so, or this like custardy fucking wobbly cake thing. And I went, "You are fucking dickheads. And I was like, give me the fucking chocolate brownie swimming in ganache. Nice. In a pool of it. Nice. With honeycomb on the top. And they're all sitting there going, oh, I don't like that. You can taste, is the clove I'm tasting? I don't really particularly <laughs> like the taste. My sister, my sister. <laughs> She's like, uh, it tastes like ham. She was literally like, you woman. <laughs> oh, Jack, oh, you cut it to be the ham. <laughs> she was like, because I had clove on it, she was like, eh. Yeah. It tastes like ham, eh. <laughs> like drops the fork, going, eh. <laughs> it tastes like ham. And I was like, what do you mean it tastes like ham? She's like, eh, no, can't do it. Also, be grateful for your blessings. I you get a dessert that tastes like ham. That's I'm, a fucking good day. Yeah, but I was, I was also like, what the fuck? You didn't even know what that was when you ordered it, you stupid bitch. And then it fucking comes out different to what you had in your brain. And you're like, eh, eh, you know, like a baby. And then, but they, and then, but here's the thing. They're eating the fucking dams and trifle. They're eating all the wobbly cakes and all. And I'm just sitting in the middle, quite literally, you know, like ganache shit, that liquid chocolate. Mm. That with a brownie in it and then honeycomb and ice cream on the top. And I was just I was like, you fucking idiot. See, very idiot. Su- very strategic because see like a, a high-end kind of restaurant and God's doing all the wee fancy shit and all. If you go for the sort of, you know, maybe basic bitch mm-hmm. dessert of like a brownie and ice cream, yeah. they're going to do it really fucking well. Oh, is that well out, of played, the, so. out of the park? Like Chestnut checkers. And they're all sitting there going, oh, the trifle is nice. And, all, and they're boring. He's like, hey, taste your. I was like, shut up. Get the fuck away from me. What wine get? Um, she got, she some, got a wobbly she, cake. She got a wobbly trifle or some, uh, some bullshit. Yeah. They all made a terrible mistake. I don't like most desserts. The main ones is the cheesecake, the brownie. And I'll throw one more in there for the crack. I know, but that doesn't matter. You know, you, you, I don't like most desserts. So that's why I have cheesecake <laughs> after every meal, just to stay safe. No, I know what I like with desserts. You yeah. know what I mean? I don't like to get too adventurous with desserts. Oh, well, yeah. I looked down the list and it was like, you know, blah, 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 whatever tart fucking whatever Tarts you know you know some sort of fucking you know what did i say dams and trifle uh, the only one i knew what it was was the brownie that's why i picked it yeah but here you can't fucking go wrong you know what i mean yeah it was swimming in chocolate yeah i ate that meal and that's all i ate in 24 hours they threw you a scoop of ice cream with the brownie oh they did they give it the fucking what's that shit do you want to get like two oh, hot yeah, hot spoons and like fucking oh that shit they whip it up into like a wee fucking oh, rug- rugby ball and that was like set on the top like a wee creamy cuboid they have something cornell cornell fuck yeah bro i watched celebrity master chef <laughs> uh oh it was absolutely unbelievable you that know? sounds great um yeah i was i was fucking i was well fucking just arrogant about it you know yeah well it looks nice colin yeah no the fuck is that yeah Travel, fuck off. Wobbly shade. What is it, the seventies? Uh, yeah, fucking idiot. Damson. And then my sister was also furious because she, <laughs> she, she brought a cake. What? <laughs> Sorry, I just had to get that out of me. What did you say? Damson. I just can't get over that word. I said that too. I was like, is it a god, Damson? <laughs> uh, shout out to Davis and Butthead. But um, yeah, so she buys a cake for my dad's retirement. This this was an unnecessary party, mm-hmm. you know. But my dad sort of qu- was off on the sick for a year, mm-hmm. and then. Just was like, I'm not going back to work. And then quiet. Good man. And then quiet. Like, yeah, right. And then quietly quit. Um, but then it was kind of official. And then she was like, we should do something, you know, like a retirement party or whatever. And I'm like, all right. Um, so we, yeah, we went there. She buys a cake. But that height, but that size. Fucking mm-hmm. like a wedding cake. like, mm-hmm. And expects the... Now, when she sent me the picture, I initially got the fucking panics. Because I was like, <gasps> and you get that panic because it's like oh, it's a birthday cake and there's going to be like six or seven of you and they're going to walk out and you're going to be like, you know that sad, like, happy birthday. Yeah. Trying to sing lower than the, you know, the loudest one. Sparklers fly out. 
<laughs> and then I realized it wasn't a birthday and I was like, thank fuck. Yeah. But she brought the cake in. The woman was like, oh no, we can't do that with like cross contamination and stuff. Oh, fuck off. But then, but I said to Rich, I was like, I'm not surprised. This is like a fucking fancy place. Aye. No, get that birthday You're, Like cake everybody out. would bring their own cake to a fucking restaurant if you could. Also, what do you sing when they bring it out? Because you can't bring a cake out, cake out mute. That's awkward as fuck. Well, they said they couldn't do it, and then they put two candles in it and did it anyway. So Aye. they just fucking walked out with this giant cake. And fuck the system. And everyone was, and my dad was like, oh, my, my dad's like, oh, what <laughs> fuck's this for? Life's a bitch. <laughs> Life's a bitch. But just scoops it with his hand. That's my favorite thing ever. Or a oh, bitch, but somebody has to do it. <laughs> what? So it was all just very awkward. And then just this row of like, Rachel's like, do you want to go back to our house? Do you want to have cake and all? And I was like, nah, not at all. Am I going back to your house? Do you want to go back to and have a cake and all? Sorry, right. it was way too much cake. So I was like, dad, you can take, we'll get, see if they have like cling film and tin foil and another box and we'll take half of it. And blah. And I was just like, man, throw it in the bin. How about Aye. that? I would just fucking turf it in the bin. Is there a family alive, like knocking about where when you go out, it isn't just a completely stressful ordeal? I don't know. Probably not. Everyone is testing positive for high dough in the building. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking ridiculous. Showing like, strong so, yeah. See time we go symptoms of high dough. Oh, fucking high dough hanging out everybody at the table. Like, and it, anything at all, it could be for anything. Even leaving the house to go somewhere, nightmare. Getting there, yep. nightmare. At the actual venue itself. The only time it's acceptable is whenever we're all half trolleyed. Yeah. You know? But even this is the thing, like me and Maureen walked up, met my dad outside, waiting outside this restaurant. Rachel phones me. Mm-hmm. What are you doing standing outside the restaurant? And I went, waiting on you, seeing the car go past. Well, I have a cake with me, so fucking go in. I'm like, bro, it's not fucking like surprise you know what I mean? It's not like a sting. Yeah. It's just fucking lunch. Yeah. Go in and sit down and act. Not really. <laughs> like I don't have a cake. Just pretend I arrived a wee bit late. Fucking Ocean's Twelve to whip out the <laughs> yeah, yeah, retirement it's like, cake. It's like full fucking Seal Team Six to get a goddamn cake in the building. You can't eat anyway. And all he did was bring it down. He's like, Phew. and then they're like, I don't know what to do with this. Put the lid back on. Carry it out. Right, I'll order the damn son. You make fun of me. <laughs> and then in the midst of that, we'll get the retirement cake in the kitchen. The, the damn son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was fucking. And I hate sitting about after it like you fucking ate a load of food uh-huh. and then everyone's just sitting you coffee and you're like, oh, oh i hate that shit. Shit. are you having another drink are you I drinking no one drinking fuck's sake what's the point of and i'm like come on home yeah i don't want to sit like fold it over for another fucking like half an hour full of i totally curry agree monkfish you and my dad used to literally as soon as he put the spoon down in the last scoop whatever dessert he had usually like jelly and custard or something <laughs> He just he brought, would, it, brought his own as well. He knew everyone would want to hang about yeah. and grab teas and shit like that there, and all, he couldn't handle any of it. So he would literally get up and just walk around the building. <laughs> He'd just get up and start lapping. He's probably like, I can feel these fucking, I can feel this Tetris fart coming. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's, he's had a few fucking levels of. Oh, why? Wow. Hey, let me make a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you can never use that excuse because the guy never had a phone. Like, oh, we sorry. got him a Motorola for his birthday and he sold it. <laughs> Better like, cash in my a- pocket. <laughs> I was like, that doesn't even- he comes back with 139 pounds. He's like, no matter you fucking pay phone calls, I can make that. You're making me walk around with a phone. Fuck off. We still have the fax machine in our house. <laughs> Just sitting there like an antique. <laughs> <laughs> the haunted fax machine fax machines are a good crack like uh, <laughs> it is funny watching actually it. don't it what do you do with a fax machine send an invoice or something no you like yeah, yeah, that would be what it was mostly for yeah send across invoices and shit and i might get one then the odd time someone would fuck about act up send a wee funny one free <laughs> draw a wee picture of a cock on you it. know just watching the wee sheet come down just says lick my arse <laughs> You know, lick my arse. <laughs> nah, well, nobody wrote that. Like, him and Hugo used to have wild banter back and forth with the facts. <laughs> Skilly lick my arse. <laughs> All the E's go off the page. Yeah, <laughs> just keeps reams of E's. <laughs> yeah, fuck ye. Oh, oh, sir. But I have family ends are a fucking nightmare. Yeah, just there's always one lunatic. Like, just relax. Like, yeah, people are. You know, like there's two. Um, they're, like, see if you're going to a place, just go in and fucking go through with it. Mm-hmm. Don't be like, um, 
No one's been around with water yet. Excuse, excuse, excuse me. Yeah. We need more water at this. You know, you're like fucking. We're just we're gonna be here for two and a half hours. Yeah, chill the fuck out. That's also the worst too. Like she if will you, be back if you're acting up like that. All the staff are talking shit about you. Oh. They no longer care if you have a good night. You're making enemies. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. it's a, probably a good job. My sister didn't eat the fucking you know damson trifle. Yeah, if someone's out the back. Just <laughs> <laughs> That is such a funny thing to do is like a grown man is to get shit off a table and then just fucking launch one right into their fucking wobbly cake. I'd love you you're so fucking smart, bitch. Launch one into someone's wobbly cake. That is a fear. Well, to be fair, I've never acted up in a restaurant enough to where I'd be feared of them tankering with my food. No. But I'd say it definitely happens, like. You yeah, know? like someone, whoopsie, steak hits the floor. Yeah, you're getting lippy enough and, you know, it's a wee bit kind of cowboy operation of a restaurant you're in. They will... Do you reckon maybe one? the safest place you can eat is like a McDonald's? Yes. No, actually, probably not. They're fucking riding the fuck out of each other over there. Ah, but, you know, that's fine. Do whatever you want. There's fucking... Ah, but not in the area where the food's been prepared. They never have sex in the kitchen, you know? Do you see that clip of the EasyJet flight and the guy opens the door and this guy's just... Dog in the messes. No, but I did see that thing about there was some flight where a guy had really the guy had such bad diarrhea they had to turn the plane around. Did you hear about this? Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Hang on. Was uh, this the the Pakistan flight where there's pesh everywhere and all? No, this is just skits, man. I think it was like a, an opportunity for people to be really racist. There was like a London Please to Pakistan flight, and it was just like a fucking it was like a festival, just toilet roll and piss and shit everywhere, and people were like. You know, that's the type of them. You yeah, know? Delta Delta flight returns after a passenger's diarrhea all the way through the plane. <laughs> Footage has emerged of the onboard <laughs> medical emergency that forced a U.S. airliner back to Atlanta only two hours in its flight to Spain. A messy trail of diarrhea left by a struggling passenger. <laughs> Maintenance crew spent five hours cleaning the Delta Airlines Airbus A350 after its enforced early landing, including replacing an aisle carpet ruined in the incident. Passengers reportedly, including the one suffering diarrhea, were allowed to reboard after an eight hour long delay, making out to Barcelona on Saturday afternoon with no further incident. Uh, another Is there footage though, of someone shouting over the plane? I'd like to see a video, yeah. Let's that see. motherfucker is not real. <laughs> Let me see. There's a news thing about it. I had a very close call on an fl internal flight in Vietnam. With the skits? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What is that fucking haunted strip club music? <clears throat> but it was very, um, it was one of those ones where it had a couple of ropey shits. And mm -hmm. then I took one emergency, you know, when you, you know when you're surprised by the shit? Yeah. I took the emergency shit before I got on the flight and it was a night, it was like, Burr! and I was like, Jesus, glad I went to the toilet. And then I was on the, I think I was just scared of shitting myself at that point, so I was like, I'll go to the toilet again on the plane here. And sure, it was, it was Vietnam, anytime you spread your cheeks apart. Hellscape. Risk. Hellscape, like. Are we allowed to play this now? Or we could take a dune? Uh, scroll through it. <laughs> Get Spain to the shit. Was forced to turn around because of an unfortunate situation. Shit. All the way through the airplane, yeah. Sadly, <laughs> for those passengers, the yeah. diarrhea was not contained to the bathroom. Oh it happened about two hours into the flights. After making an emergency landing, everybody was transferred to a different plane. Mm. Delta says the original plane was deep clean. Mm. There, people tried to spray Where did vanilla. You that? Where did you <laughs> and we all know that vanilla doesn't do <laughs> tricks. Oh, so. she's bossing yarns. <laughs> so. Sir, that's a rookie mistake, as if you smell shite at all to spray vanilla. I used to have vanilla scented toilet roll in my house at uni, and thinking it would be lovely. I love love vanilla, love everything don't, about don't, it. They don't pay for anything in the house, but they're getting scented <laughs> bog roll. Players, international players. Wipe my arse with it once, hey, and I was like, this is the most rotten thing. This is the most rotten concoction of smells of all time. Yeah, you can't really, like... Clean it up. You cover up the smell of shit. No, it just has you just to need, It just needs to be clean. Yeah. You know, instead of like, now it's shit and vanilla. Yeah. <laughs> it is just funny though, the visual. <laughs> like, because, like, we both find people vomiting funny, right? Yeah. 
people shitting themselves is hilarious i don't care what the circumstances yeah. it's always funny if you're shitting yourself on a plane and you can't control it to the point where they're like we're gonna have to fucking turn this bus around yeah <laughs> like, did, did they not, did they like not make it to the toilet and just shot the hoy up the aisle i filled the trousers like <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, like, I've been in the same room when a toddler has shit his pants. Yeah. And it's pretty strong. You know, it's pretty pungent. Filled the trousers, ran up the aisle. <laughs> Shades coming out of them as they're going up the aisle. <laughs> like, you'd be in tears. I would be in tears. Like, oh. I'd just be like, There's, I'm so sorry. Everyone on this I, aircraft. I would, I would open the emergency door at that point. <laughs> Do you, remember, do you remember that clip of someone opened the emergency door and the rest it was in like fucking Malaysia or something uh-huh. and the rest of the the rest of the passengers were just sitting there like <laughs> they were like calm enough but the door was open just, <laughs> that would be me hair going even if there were fucking hair going everywhere the guy's got his tie going back <laughs> that would be me I'd be like I can deal with it how long have I left 20 minutes yeah. crank that door open <laughs> me trying to read a book <laughs> You just know that everybody that was on that aircraft that finally landed in Barcelona and were on the phone to their families being like, well, did you have a good flight? You're like, this dude fucking shit himself. Yeah. They had to turn the goddamn plane around. But they're crying. <laughs> Somebody shit <laughs> Also, to be, to be fair, impressive shiting. Like, to the point oh. where they had to get in a new rug. That's a lot, like. Terrible timing. Delta well. Airlines, well, we got to get a new rug in here. This boy's scat the whole way down it. Oh, God. Have you seen the video where the guy picks up the, the vomit bag and it's, it's like, it doesn't have a bottom in it? And he's like being sick on a plane. He just goes, <laughs> and it comes out the other end. It just it goes, sh- it just shoots straight through it. Like, he should have just bugged on the seat. Like. Yeah. <laughs> I, Planes are disgusting. Like, oh, yeah. I bet you, like, a TransLink fucking bus is cleaner than a plane. Yeah. Hey, TransLink, honestly, in terms of in terms of quality of bus, it's unbelievable. Like, you go on a Greyhound in America, that's where you get your fucking eyes open. All right, but, you know, they might reupholster the seats. God forbid they put a toilet in there. Yeah. You know, you'd be shouting in the toilet. I have shit in a bus before now. It was that uh, air coach one. It goes from Dublin. It's got to be shit on it. Did you need the shit? Or were, were no, you no, just no. availing of the facilities? You just take advantage of it. Yeah. You feel one brew and you're like, well, I might as well kill 10 minutes here. There's something quite settling about having a toilet there. Yeah. Because I've got on buses before. Like, say you get the boat to Scotland, you get that coach down and you go, some of them have toilets, some of them don't. Yeah. So you get on one and you go, oh, fuck, this one doesn't have a toilet. And then you're like, do I need a bit? Oh, do I? Oh, do I? And you're like 20 minutes into the two hour drive. And you're like, I think I'm going to, oh God, I need a piss now. But That's then, fucked up though. But then I've got on the bus needing a piss and seen the toilet and just gripped the piss the whole way. Yeah. You know, double kidney infection. Yeah. Jump out of fucking air, whatever, take a slash. You can buy yourself a good solid 30 seconds if you do just grip your pipe if you need to piss. Mm. You know, if you're in the midst of about the piss. That'll, I'm talking from experience here at the time of the cheesecake factory. Yeah, but you know, it's like... That, that might happen like three times in your whole life mm. where you're actually like it's coming out yeah it's mistimed because you know even the times I've really needed a piss it, it's just pain yeah it's not like in, oh it is sore it's not in the tube of your pisser yeah you're you're just going like oh god I'm uncomfortable yeah <sighs> I nearly shit myself in the gym one time and the guy was talking. Do tell. The guy was talking to me, and I was like, "I like him, Barry Blender videos. No, must get a chat to you sometime. Maybe we could do something here." And I was just, "Aye, that sounds." <laughs> just immediately walked away. You just darted past. I was just like, "Hey, that sounds cool." So yeah. In the moment that that's no, when I, you knew you needed to shit. I had or? stopped and talked to him, and just it just like don't just hit the fucking the back end of my anus, and I was like, "Okay, yep, see you later, man." Mm-hmm. Oh, I left my phone in the toilet. And you did a nice toilet nearby. You were able to get it sorted. It was at the back, It was at the other end of the gym, so I did have to penguin it for a second down to the down to the back thing. It's just there, man. And you gotta you gotta fucking shot like shit it out quick, mm. you know, because then you just pop back and be like, "Sorry, man, just pop to the loo there." Oh yeah, you can't you can't be in there for like twelve minutes. You gotta, Sorry, man, I was just fuck. Jesus, I want to go back there, baby. You? Yeah, you you gotta get in there and just rifle it out of you. Yeah. Which is very easy to do. Do about 70% of a wipe. You know. And be like, I've need shard anyway. And then go. Yeah. Curl your toes. Grip down. Work away. Mm. That's how you do it. That's how to shit like a man. Yeah. You know, if you're not curling your toes, you ain't shitting, right? <laughs> you're not curling, you're not trying. 
<laughs> be interesting if me and you're on this uh, weight loss diet, and then we get right down to the last week, and the two of us are chiseled and sexy, and then we're like, let's see, how, like we're we're down to the poundage here. Yeah. You know, start taking laxatives and fucking salt baths and all. Yeah. Just get every bit of fluid out of you. Lax, I'd take laxatives no bar. What if it's like an actual fight? Like me and you just get up on the stage at Lavery's, like all fucking strung out and all. Like you're about to faint, people holding you up, and you're trying to do your set. Well, I am. I'm Let's definitely. Take a fucking Macbeth play. <laughs> I definitely am feeling the, you know, the effects of having. I'm essentially having <laughs> three McGallis. less pickies a day. <laughs> Man, I'm I'm going through it right now. Sir, the, three books and no books will make you a different man. Like, you know, you view the world with a different lens. Yeah. When the biscuits are gone, like, <laughs> it's a tough fucking life. Every cup of tea now, you're like, why did I even drink this? Oh, that's why I never have tea. This was just a thing to moisten the biscuit. You know? <laughs> I don't of, even fucking like name this. Name of the podcast there. <laughs> moisten the biscuit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Is that your fifth paint? No, I'm just moistening the biscuit. <laughs> I loved it when Lizzo put that video up and she's like, I'm just dipping uh, Oreos into milk. I've never done this before. And everyone's like, come on, <laughs> bitch. You never dip fucking Oreos into milk? No. Come on. No. Thanks for just some barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Oreos. You fat bitch. It's fine to say that now too because she's cancelled. She's cancelled and yeah. we're not fat anymore. So... <laughs> One weekend, fatness gone. Yeah, when you're listening to this, I'll be even skinnier. Yeah. You know? Uh, where's that photo? Right there? Yeah. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's your before venture? It can be, yeah. There's one worse than that. There's one worse than that, which... Uh, oh, man. That... Yeah, that just... <laughs> Sometimes I forget you're a dad, then you see you're the balcony, and you're like, oh yeah, it's so dad. Like, <laughs> That's dad moves there. Oh, Jesus. Just the honey glazed tits out in that balcony. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, that was early in the holiday, too. I didn't have any time on me at all. <laughs> Did you text Warren saying, can you send me those disgusting photos? <laughs> I, the, the wording of it was, uh... <laughs> hold on. Maureen, send me those horrific pictures of me on holiday, <laughs> sunbathing that on the balcony. The one with the wee hands. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to, I was mid about to cover my nips as a joke uh, and she caught me like like that there that's hilarious I mean see to be honest see going from like fully in shape visible muscle muscles visible muscular definition visceral. you know visceral muscular definition yeah. <laughs> there's a cutoff point not beyond that where you're a fucking mess just forever what do you mean? Like, who really looks good? Percentage of people? Like, about fucking 5% of the people? Depends where you're at geographically, you know? LA, every other person is a sexy like, bastard. Uh, like, I, yeah. Yeah, it does depend where you are. But I've yeah. seen people who, you know, are all like, I go to the gym and, you know, they put the, put on the right fitness gear and they look like a fucking fit guy. Mm -hmm. They might be fit, but, you know, you take a top off and you're like, well, even you're a fucking long way from being, like, hot and in shape. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Yeah, in terms of body type, you know, you're kind of thinking about the Abercrombie and Fitch model, you know, with the dick face yeah. and the, they've got Google Maps in their arms, yeah, you know. Yeah. I was I was uh, I was chatting I was chatting a short the other day in the gym and uh sorry, I'm this lack of biscuits is going to my scone. Man's faded off a lack of biscuits. And uh <laughs> fucking short he goes, I have a new vein coming in there, lad and he goes, uh oh, there's a new road being built. <laughs> He's a, I have one vein. Yeah. <laughs> on your pace? Yeah. <laughs> on the north side of my pace. That's the River Nile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Niles River, as I call it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Dick veins are funny. Dick veins? Yeah, dick veins yeah. are funny. Yeah. I have a visceral dick vein. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any uh, little little streams going off it? No, or is it just the one main vein? No, it's just one main. It's the headliner. Yeah, just go. <laughs> even our dicks need to go on a cut. <laughs> Got a visceral dick fun. Uh, yeah, dick veins are funny. Oh, Ball dear. veins scary. Ball vein. <laughs> Did you watch the Russell Brand documentary? I did. I. Yeah, sure. Everyone's getting cancelled. Aye. Aye. Do you yeah. watch it now? No, I haven't seen it. Nah. Is it any use? 
it was just it was uh you know it's like a double sided thing like a lot of the conspiracy heads are being like this seems very calculated and well timed mm -hmm. and then even and then even like you know the stuff he's able to talk about on youtube that everyone else would get like deplatformed for people are like well, this is strange you know is it, is it like a sort of andrew tate style you know matrix attack or something and you're sort of like yeah it does f it has elements of that but then also they are just talking to people who are like yeah i was like i mean it's it's just a it's a lot there was one very rough one where he's like you know forced himself on this woman and she went to like a crisis center the next day and everything then there was another one where it's like he was consensually sort of half dating like a fucking 16 year old yeah and then the rest Strange. of them, the rest of them were just were like um you know this guy would just glaze over and fucking you know when he finally would get to ride you he was just like fucking turned into a different person how old was he when he was dating the 16 year old 30s that's i yeah. listen no yeah that's it's fucking mad yeah. i give digs at my mates for going out with 21 year olds when they're 29 yeah you know what i mean 16 is mental mm. what are you talking about i think he's picking her up from school no but like uh oh, double french in the morning it's uh, disgusting. I know. I know. <laughs> but we talked about it in the car i was like nothing you know what comedian was it was it bill burr or something he's like it should be hard to have sex you know, it's, you shouldn't be a guy who just walks out and goes like, can you just get her number and her number and her number and all of them appear at your hotel room to uh, fucking uh, suck your pace? I wouldn't wish my worst anime. Oh, jeez. It's a terrible affliction. It's a wild burden I carry. T terrible affliction. You keep that vain to yourself. <laughs> Is right. Is right. <laughs> Is right. But yeah, it just, it just it, I mean, like, no, someone, like, someone who was an ex-heroin addict and then becomes clean and then becomes like a sex addict and is hugely popular and loads of people dead fancy him like yeah even though he's weird looking his big hair and all this shit um and he could he he, he was probably doing a tremendous amount of banging mm -hmm. as and when he wanted to mm -hmm. so i which i i imagine gets messy every time yeah because it's like it's fucking weird like even if, if you're a dude right and you're like oh jeez wouldn't it be class i just have woman and you're bad every night of the day no it wouldn't i think it would actually be like taking any other drug where like the amount and the time between taking it would fucking shorten you yeah know? this pa was like oh i'd be banging five women a day in in that fucking office or something yeah bro i can't take a wife out for a call <laughs> yeah these days flat out no i don't <laughs> like even that that for, that uh, account you were talking about where it had like the receipts and all of the tax messages like those are the tax messages from a guy who knows that he fucked up and is in like panic mode being like i'm so so sorry like whatever yeah don't know it was weird and then sloss appeared on it he was fucking throwing some dirt in the grave but then the guy the guy had a fucking stand-up show that night mm -hmm. russell brand like yeah he was like i bet a rape documentary came out there the night I'll see us at eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. Support on at eight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wonder if, Fuck up. That'd be a tough kick to do I know, sport I wonder, for. I wonder, I wonder did he still have an opener? You know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey guys, you're great to be here. You can stick with me for twenty minutes, and we'll get get the big man on shortly. <laughs> you're at the back with the lawyers. <laughs> but then there is like. You know, it's always the thing of like when you watch shit in hindsight, you're like, Ooh. oh yeah, when they start showing clips of him like pissing himself in public or pulling his bags down or ah, and there's one too where he, he groped this doll and like she was an old doll, like you know, he just groped the back of her head and fucking kissed her in the mouth and all, and everyone's like, oh, the times were different back then. And you're like, yeah. I don't know if that yeah. was still, you know, if that was all right back then. Yeah, it's still a bit fucking creepy like. because he's so mystical and all he gets away with but it. I. I actually thought there was some parallels between that and like the um, Savile documentary. Yeah. You know, like wacky, like he would, it seemed like Savile would do, would be such a wacky person yeah. and dress weird and have the same haircut and come in the rooms and from a run, and like get changed in front of it, like do really weird stuff. Yeah. So that when he actually got around to doing the creepy stuff, people were like, oh, maybe it's just the way he is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe it's all like, oh, hello, look at my fucking hair and everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's got his piece out, and they're like, ah, oh, it's just Russell. Yeah. So he carries on. But yeah. This has been why to take him. As Daniel Sloss said, I don't feel bad about saying anything because he was never that good at stand up anyway. Yeah. 
And not when I think about it now, you know, every stand-up show that he put out, you know, let's heap, let's shit on him now that he's down. Uh, <laughs> um, like he's probably definitely better at doing what he's doing now than he probably ever was a stand-up. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But I don't know. But uh, the older stand-up stuff basically did just look like, here's a bit of entertainment whilst I pick out hotties from the audience. Yeah. Yeah. It is mad though, because it's like, as you say... Like, cause, cause you're thinking you're like, he seems like an intelligent guy, and you're like, would you ever fucking do something like that if you had the brains this fella has in them? And then it's like you said, where you know, if you're fucking going through women every single night, you eventually start to build up this idea of yourself, and then when someone rejects you, it takes like you know, them being very, very vocally like no, yeah, for you to be like, oh shit, like yeah. not everyone wants to ride me, yeah, you know. But the stats are in his favor. Yeah. So he's going like, yeah, the other 99.9% of people absolutely would die from my pipe. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I'm not sure. You're like, you're sure. Yeah. The rest of them are sure. You yeah. Know? But that's what I'm saying. You can't be, you can't be, uh, you can't be throwing too much fanny at these boys. You lose a run of yourself. <laughs> you do. You lose a run of yourself. It's visceral. You know what I mean? It gets real visceral with it. But yeah, I, I watched a bit of it. My mom was watching it. She was glued to it. She was just like, he's a dirty bastard. <laughs> he's a dirty bastard. Judge Ray. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Judge Ray. He's a dirty <laughs> Judge Ray was like, throw him in the chair, you know? Yeah. Judge Ray was having none of it from the second. She, even before she knew what it was about, the second she saw him, yeah. he was, he's a dirty bastard. <laughs> uh, doesn't pass the eye test with me. Here's how I, here's my rule of thumb. You look like a dirty c- <laughs> you probably are. Yeah. Mine's the same. Yeah. Every one of them fucking ones that get the same as you know, Delia there. He was you know, he can fuck whoever he wanted. Yeah. It gets messy. Again, sixteen year olds, what are you doing, boys? Oh, what are you doing? Yes, what you fucking Yeah. What is it? What is it? You could have any woman that you set your eyes on and fucking all this hair and you know, you're a famous man. People are throwing themselves at you, all this here. And yet you still go for the forbidden fruit. The 16-year-olds, like, are you mental? He's a wrong. He is. Dirty bastard. He's a dirty bastard. See, to get me stinking, me fruit. <laughs> Oh, thank God for the tension there. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. If it was it's the hard. Seinfeld one, I'd have, you, I'd have had you to edit that, uh, get you out of that out, I'm afraid. But I, uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Never trust a good looking comedian. That's what, that's my rule of thumb. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> see, when we two get caught up here, get all fucking in shape. Delia, Brand. Don't be trusted. There's see those two monsters with dispatches shoe. <laughs> Now, cut around this however you want. There's something in here that's not right. He just said stop about 15 minutes ago. <laughs> my ma too said, my ma goes, don't you be talking about that there today on the show either. Why? I don't know. I don't know. She's been getting hate from the Brown fan club or something. No. But she, I've never seen her once. I love Channel me 4 after me. <laughs> I've never seen her once ever tell me not to talk about something on this podcast. She goes, don't you be Hell no word, that's not podcast yours. Oh, yeah. Judge Ray. Judge Ray. <sighs> My mom is a very good judge character, like. Yeah? You know? Uh, it's been about, you know. There's something about, like, kind of country laws, they can, they can smell the shade of you. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a very clean cut line in the sand. You yeah. Know? Are they decent? Yeah. Or are they not? Yeah. Are they civil or not? Yeah. You know? And then, you know, sometimes you'll think someone's dead on, and you, there's always one person. Like your mother, like an old sort of wizard. She's she, she, something wrong with that one. Oh, she's a hundred percent hit rate at the minute. Yeah, it's unbelievable. You just bring bring any sort of future girlfriends in and have them turn around in the spot, and she's like, <laughs> "Her." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a Roman emperor. She's like, <laughs> Trump. Yeah, Trump. <laughs> <laughs> what is what is the markings for decent these days? You know what uh, carries someone off as decent? What is the ingredients to make a decent human being? 
I don't know. Uh, you know, you could say like friendly and whatever, but I think those things can be like faked as well. Yes. You know, you can get people who are very nice up front. Oh, I know. Authenticity. Authenticity. Oh, fucking hell. That, that's what, you know what now? That's what makes everything good. It is. It's true. That's what makes everything good. You know what makes things bad? Pretentiousness. Yes. Stop pretensioning. Mm-hmm. Now, have you written a self-help book now <laughs> on the side or what the fuck is this? I was thinking about this the other day. Why? Because Someone like, fuck you over? No, because I was thinking of people I don't get on with. And I'm like, why do I not get on with them? I just imagine this guy in a, do- in a dark room. <laughs> <laughs> why do I not like him? It's 100% me. Man, I love <laughs> Man, I love this. So, yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. And you kind of... I don't know if there's something about doing stand-up but i feel like you can see through people a wee bit more like i definitely i don't know if it's just growing older or whatever but i can definitely like 29 over here now mr <laughs> fucking philosopher ah, Jesus, I don't know. now that i've done 29 laps around this sun <laughs> or whatever way it works 29 moons around my laps the fortune tower was full of shit too oh really yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she was. Yeah. She told me that if I, I, I would meet my wife at 28, and I'm about to turn 29, I am. Yeah, but you might have met them already. I doubt it. I don't you, think you, so. You, you might have met them, and you don't, you're don't. you not in a relationship with them yet. Imagine she was like, you'll meet them at 28, and then, you know, in a sad environment, <laughs> you'll get married to them at, like, 51, when you have no future at all. <laughs> oh, Jesus, we might as well get married now. That sounds like the dream. Oh, yeah. You know? It's the Rhode Island girl, or the Long Island girl. The Rhode Island girl? Yeah. Marissa? Wolf of Wall Street? <laughs> when did you meet her? Fuck okay, it, do you want to get married? <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen my brown star before? <laughs> oh! Is that real? Jesus, boys. I thought, I thought that was a shooting star. <laughs> that is a fucking shooting star. That's what we get for talking about Russell Brown, no? Oh, yeah. God's angry. Remember? A plague. <laughs> DP were all like saying gay marriages were causing the weather to be bad. I, see, I know. See how it floods? Gay. It's the homosexuals. Yeah. Marrying each other taking pictures. 9 11, the gays. World War, the gays. Floods in Libya, the gays. That's a bleak fucking Twitter video to see. Oh, what? The floods in Libya. Oh, yeah. Boys just at the edge yeah. of the ocean with bodies in it going like, hey, we'll get that one first there. Yeah. I mean, fuck me. Do you know what I was thinking about? I was, I was thinking, I was doing a wee bit of thinking myself oh now in a dark room. I mean, not, not like, not like him polishing a gun. <laughs> Guy sharpening a katana. <laughs> Why do I not like this guy? <laughs> Blindfolded, assembling a rifle. <laughs> this is my rifle. <laughs> Now it's got the small rig rifle that they do. (laughs) (laughs) Just the idea now the parson had gone. (laughs) It's completely set. I'll say this about you now. It'd be a clean gun. It'd be a well organized. It'd be a well organized clean gun, and it would be pristine. You could resell for the same money. (laughs) Post murder. (laughs) Used once. Used once. (laughs) Condition excellent. (laughs) That's new. Uh, Oh. Oh fuck, um, but yeah, I was thinking, I was thinking about like you know the way like love has different stages, you oh, know? Yeah. like in the initial, oh, and dude. then in the initial stage, like obviously it's like the infatuation stage where you're both crazy about each other. It's not sustainable. It doesn't last. You know, eventually you kind of get into a thing where you're like really good mates, whatever. And then I think true love is where you get to a stage where it's like minimal contact with each other like you just like being around each other for a few brief moments and then that's it like because i was thinking about this right where it's like couples that last well until their elder years right yeah like for example my mom and dad right as a win there was a stage where i was like are my parents asexual because they just never would display affection. <laughs> they never fucking each other in front of me anymore. <laughs> like, you know the way in like, those like, American TV shows yeah. where it'd be like a child at the fucking breakfast table and then the ma's sitting there making that breakfast of scrambled egg and a grapefruit. Uh, and uh, 
the, the dad walks through and he's fucking buttoning his shirt because he's in. He's like, all right, honey, I'll see you later. And then he pops away kissing her. And the kid's like, mom, don't yeah. do that in front of me. I was like, I, I've never I can't seen even that. finish my grapefruit. My, my, my dad, if he was alive today, you know what my dad would have done that. I'd be sitting at the breakfast table. Mom would be at the thing, cutting up whatever the fuck. And dad would walk past and go, 20,000 dead in Libya. <laughs> And then he was like, my dad, I... I Any coffee on her, what? I remember this so well. He just used to walk past my ma, read the most fucking brutal headline you could think of out there, and then just walk out the door and not say <laughs> bye or not. Yeah. He was doing early clickbait. He was doing that acoustic clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> that's, one, that's one stage better than I thought it would be, which is like she's cutting the fr- fruit and you're having the Rice Krispies and the door just shuts and you don't see him at 7 o'clock at night. <laughs> I remember some days like just became coined as like, it was like dad's chill out day, right? Yeah. So it used to be that like he would watch one Premier League game and then he'd have to resume duties as a dad around the house and like do shit. Then he hated football probably. So he started watching like La Liga, right? Yeah. So like Spanish league football, but he just used to literally sit in the corner in the chair and watch, I swear to God, must have been like six football oh, games right. in a row. Yeah. Just wake up, shake, yeah. and then sit in that chair, La Liga to six, oh, yeah. Sunday dinner, back for one more game before bed. I've done, I've done that this weekend with rugby. I'm like, here, the rugby world cup done happening. Let me watch three games in a row. Morning's like, where to? Eddie's going to bed now. And I'm like, sweet. See you tomorrow. Do you men really like sport or do they just like peace? <laughs> I, think, I, I don't know. I don't know what I was making your dad's ball, but uh, <laughs> watching La Liga, you might like a bit of peace. Uh, I, uh, I think sometimes, like, <laughs> I think sometimes. Yeah, they genuinely do like sport. Yeah. Yeah, of course. They might not used to go for a swim every morning. I was like, he doesn't like swimming. Like, my, my, like, Maureen is with Formula One the way I'd be with, like, an Ireland match. Yeah. I'd be like, right, you fuck off and do something else here. I'm watching this. She, yeah. She'll be like that. Yeah. I think that's, I think that's healthy. I'm also scared, like, you know, I've been thinking about this in my room with, like, you know, when you're in, like, a marriage for so long, is there a stage where you just run out of things to talk about? Like, everything's been covered. Like, is that when my dad was watching La Liga? Because he's like, there's not an opinion this woman can utter that I haven't heard before. <laughs> From nine different angles. She just has to pretend to be interested. Yeah. He comes in and goes, ah, Jesus, in Barcelona are selling uh, Ronaldo or something. Yeah. I don't even know if that is La Liga. Who gives a fuck? It is a weird thing, too, to be like, my parents weren't a faction enough around me as a child. Can you imagine if, like... They were just tonguing the life out of each other in the kitchen. Oh, the boys dropping the paw before primary school. <laughs> Arn, look at the wall for a minute. Turn, get in the corner and start the corner. Get that muffin chip book. And just get giving you fucking pointless tasks. Oh fuck! Go down to that shop there. <laughs> the shop's closed. And ask Terry if he's got a fucking if he's got tartan paint. No problem. Tartan. Better give your mag good saying to you here. Oh fuck! Give her a pace. Oh, I wanted to. I wanted to bring this up to you. Uh, I had a flashback to my mate Andy, who is a culture who discovered weed right around the pandemic. Right, right. <laughs> and uh, he started. <laughs> he started getting like. <laughs> Has he got worms in his blood? He, he was just one of those guys. That I was like, I can't wait to hear like his stone thoughts because right. his sober thoughts are already so like. He gets very existential about like the smallest things, right? So he's a joy to listen to. One day we were sitting smoking Rafer and listening to rave music, and uh, he like took a drag Real of the joint. Bad man. <laughs> he took a drag of the joint. And he goes, "Sir, what are we gonna do? Hey, whenever they just run out of tunes?" <laughs> and I was like, "What do you mean?" And he goes, "Like a, a guitar has six chords, piano has eighty-eight keys. Like, how long can you go for?" And he was genuinely being serious. He's like, they're going to run out of tunes. And see the more remixes I hear of that, songs. That's the, that's the exact same argument Ed Sheeran had when they took him to court for like stealing songs. Yeah. He's like, here, there's no way to start about the chords. Like, We've run out of tunes. What do you want me to do? Of course you're going to, you know, cross paths a couple of times. Like, Hashtag save the tunes. Yeah. Fair play. Yeah, it's a good point. It's like porn. Why, why are you making more? Oh, yeah. You'll never see it all. Well, you can. Are you sure? Maybe you can stop it. Are you sure about that? Nah, you're going to hub one day and it's like 
you've completed it. <laughs> Congratulations, you've won a free month of premium. Ah, oh, that's that's low barrel there, now. Low barrel. Who's in the whole premium, like? Genuinely. I don't know. I know some of the pervious bastards knocking about this island. <laughs> I don't know what you're getting in the premium that you're not getting on the, the free buffet. Well, you get to make, like, wee playlists and all. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, you oh, do. Jesus. You know. <laughs> porn to study to. Arm twisted. Yeah, lo-fi porn. <laughs> lo-fi porn be great. Road trip bucket. <laughs> Road trip classic bucket. <laughs> Summer throwback. Summer blow your back out. Early naughty's cum shots. <laughs> Sold. Sold. <laughs> wow. Uh, now that paid off. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, patreon.com forward slash the bomb squad pod. Get yourselves. It'll be, it'll be bloody 26 bonus podcasts at this point. Fucking right. Fucking right. That's right. Three day bender. You're in Glasgow when this comes out? No, I'll, I'll have done it. You'll have done it? I'll have done it. Yeah, it'll be. I'll have done it. But you can absolutely get yourself some tickets for the SS. The SSE's down to the fucking the crumbs, like. Happy days. I'm only doing one night. Get that upper tier bought. Um, and then I'll be in London. You might come with me. Mm-hmm. We'll chat about that at some point. And then Manchester and Liverpool on this leg of the tour before Christmas. Callingguest.com for tickets. And patreon.com forward slash bomb squad pod. Yeah. For more episodes. Thanks for joining us tonight, folks. And uh, we'll be back next week. Much appreciated. With Tales of the Road. Tales of Scotland, Haggis Tales. <laughs> Give him one last flash of the t-shirt. 10 out of 10. Do you know what would have been real fucking, like if you got his name on it too? People would definitely be giving you free biscuits. McCann's, just McCann's on their name. Yeah. <laughs> right, we'll get out of here. Hey, good luck. Cheers. Oh, Thanks, nice buddy. All the best. Uh. <sighs> oh God, that photo of me. Shocking. That's I, so funny. I need, I need to piss real hard. <laughs>